Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me in another planty video. My name is April and today I'm doing something I've been wanting to do for a while, but I've honestly just been a little nervous to do and that's transferring one of my larger plants into LECA. If you've been watching my videos, you know that I have a bunch of smaller plants in LECA that are thriving, but I'm honestly trying to think if I've switched a larger plant to LECA. I don't think I have. So that's what we're doing today. The victim of my choice today is my beautiful heart leaf philodendron. This thing was not even anywhere hanging off of the pot when I first got it. And now look at her, it's so big. And it's also obviously a vining plant. So this is gonna be a little more difficult to transfer or I guess more time consuming because it is the same method. It's just a larger plant. One of the reasons why I really wanna transfer this plant to LECA is because when I bought this plant, I noticed that the dirt in the pot is wicked uneven. That's diatomaceous earth in there. But some of the soil is literally coming out of the pot. Like if you can see right there, there's like a mountain of soil. And I think that's because when it was at Walmart, it must have gotten knocked over and someone just picked it up and put it back without fixing it. So I kind of just left it like this and it's been like this since I've got it. So I'm excited to finally get rid of this dirt and get her into something a little more comfortable. Also, philodendron are really strong plants in my opinion, so I'm not too, too worried about her thriving in LECA. The only reason why I'm a little nervous to transfer this plant is because it is doing so well in this lopsided soil. Guys, I was not kidding about the bees. There has to be a nest because I watched that bee come through the blinds and I just soaked my window with outdoor bee spray so I'm probably gonna die now. But anyways, back to my beautiful philodendron. I'm actually gonna go rinse these roots off in the garden. Hopefully I don't get attacked by bees. If you wanna see me transfer my Hartley philodendron into LECA, then just keep watching. So first I'm actually going to take this in the garden to rinse the roots down. Um, I'm not gonna take you with me because it just gets crazy in the garden. Like there's groundhogs in there, there's bees, there's blue jays, there's bees. <laughs> I'll be right back. So actually before I go to the garden, I'm going to show you guys what the roots look like because I don't even know what they look like. And I wanna take a peek before I go outside. Maybe we can throw some of this dirt out too. April's going barehanded. That's a first. So I took the hangers off. Now I'm just squeezing the pot. Jesus Christ, I probably shouldn't have watered it a few days ago, but I honestly didn't decide to transfer it to Lekka till now. Oh, not too bad, not too bad. That's what the roots look like. Try to get some dirt off really quick. Oh, can't get that much off. And I don't really even try because the hose takes it off like butter. So I'm just gonna pop this back in and I will be right back. Two seconds later. Hi guys, I'm back. And wait till you see, oh, wait till you see this. This is what the root system looks like. I have all of this and I really tried to keep the roots together when I was rinsing them off because this thing could have got tangled so quickly. And also you do see that there's a little bit of soil still on the roots, but I'm not too, too worried about that. If it does end up causing a problem, then I will take it back out and rinse them off, but I don't really see it causing that much of an issue besides probably fungus gnats. Since I've been switching all of my plants over to Lekka, I can 100% say that the amount of fungus gnats around my house has decreased a lot. I used to be swatting them all the time. Now it's like maybe I see one a day or maybe one a week now. And that's a huge, huge difference for me. I mean, I would rather be seeing fungus gnats than bees, of course, but. So what I'm doing now is I have this pot. I know it's not clear, but you guys know I shake pots that are not clear to see where the water level's at. And I also have some Lekka. Aren't these so cute? And I'm just going to 
Fill this up. That's like about one third of the way. OMG, this is gonna be hard. I'm trying to like gather the roots in the most organized way that I can or get them into the same area so I can just take them all at once and just stick them in there. I'm just taking out stuff that's just, like this leaf is just dangling. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got, see what we got. Okay, I think I have all the roots in my hand now. That's what I did. So I went through and I grabbed all of the roots. They're in my hand like this. And I did this so that I can just take it and plop it in, which is what I'm gonna do now. Oh, there's a root behind my pinky. No, 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 no. Okay, I think I got it. Okay. Making sure all the, like, random. Okay, I'm making sure all the leaves are above the pot. I'm ho oops, I'm holding it in like this. I'm ho oops. You can't even barely see my hand because there's so much plant. But I'm holding it like this and I'm going to dump Lekka in that hole back there to start backfilling. Sometimes you have to do what you have to do. Okay, I'm just making sure all of the ends are tucked into the leka good, all of the cuttings so that I know they're getting watered, you know? Even if I have to break. Oh shit, let me not say that because I just broke something. Even if I have to break. I'm so sad, it's such a perfect little, <laughs> I'm sorry. So let's scratch that even if we don't have to break anything because that's not what I'm doing here anymore. <laughs> it's heating up in here. Okay. So I'm just trying to make sure all of these little ends are in the leka. So when the water gets wicked up, they're getting watered and they're not just up here. This is tangled. Oh my God, I just broke another leaf. I need to chill, bro. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm getting scared. Okay. I need a freaking rumble. This plant is definitely gonna suffer a little in the beginning because I was rough as hell. Like vining plants, you gotta be careful because untangling these, you can easily lose a bunch of leaves. I learned that the hard way. You gotta be patient. This can go here. This can go here. Oop, that can go there. And I'm going to keep the water level pretty high when I go to water it because it's just not used to being in Lekka yet and I want it to be able to grow water roots quicker so we are going to keep the water level high I think, oh this is like kind of by itself so let's put you over here okay let me finish this up and I'll show you guys the finished result so this is the finished product what's crazy is when I was like cleaning up before I came to film the outro, this came off and I'm so sad. Like, how can I do this? I'm gonna have to propagate this though because it's such a pretty piece. It was a little difficult to transfer this plant because it had so many like little cutting ends that I had to make sure were facing downwards. So I did that. The top does not look that pretty. But that's what it looks like. I don't want to spill any because you guys heard me spill a bunch. So yes, this is my philodendron. <coughs> this is my Hartley philodendron. I'm so happy I transferred her. I did see a few gnats in my kitchen since I moved her into my kitchen. So I'm happy that I eradicated that problem. So that does bring me to the end of today's video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy. And also be sure to follow me at Mother of Plants on Instagram. And until my next one, bye. If I don't water her on camera, I probably won't get around to it, so... Proof.